As the Britain 6 has been released, this new version includes great new features and improvements. When you open as the Britain, you see the project manager. Here you can see the modules included in the package. Cantilever retaining walls, counterfort retaining walls, basement retaining walls, sheet piling retaining wall, and a new module in this package for gravity retaining wall. As an illustration, I have prepared an example of each module. Let's go and see one by one. To open a calculation, you double click on the node. And this is the template for a cantilever retaining wall in ASDIP Retain. In the left pane is the input, at the right is the output. To see graphically what we are doing, go to the graph tab at the right. Here we have some tabs that show different limit states for the cantilever retaining wall design overturning, sliding, bearing, and so on. At the left, in the geometry tab, you enter all the dimensions of the retaining wall. The stem can be concrete or can be masonry. You click on the footing tab. Here you enter the geometric information for the footing. The wall can be supported on piles, like that, or can be just supported on soil. We can also specify a shear key, let's say 12 inches, and it will look like that. And in the backfill and cover is the dimension of the backfill uh, height. In the loads tab, here is information about the backfill, different air pressure theories to select from. Then in the surcharge tab, we can model a dead and live uniform surcharge or a strip surcharge in the backfill. Concentrated loads, dead live. For wind, also, we can specify a wind pressure at certain depth of the wall. And finally, in seismic tab, we can specify any seismic load. The pressures can be either by the Momonobe Okabe theory or can be just specified as a uniform pressure at the, at the wall. The materials tab, we enter all the information for the stem, for the footing, and for the bearing soil. In reinforcement, it's all information about the rebars for the stem, for the footing, and for the shear key. At the right, we can see graphically all the overturning calculations. Here are the pressures acting on the wall, and here are the forces acting on the wall. The program calculates the safety factor for the controlling load combination. All the results can be sorted by load combination as well. The sliding, pressures acting for the sliding calculations with the passive pressure and the program calculates the safety factor for the controlling load combination for this condition. Bearing, pressures acting on the wall and the bearing pressure under the wall. Stem design, these are the pressures and here at the bottom the program generates the shear and the moment diagram for the stem. Also the program shows the different design ratios for flexure and shear and the controlling load combination. The footing, the program designs the toe and the heel, so are the controlling load combinations and the corresponding uh, design ratios. Finally, in the construction tab, we can see a graphical view in section and elevation of the uh, designed uh, retaining wall. If we go to the at a glance tab, this shows a summary of the results just in one screen, no scrolling bars. And here you can see immediately if there's any deficiency so with this information, it's easy just to investigate a little further. To do that, we go to the Condense tab. These are more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic and also by load combination. If we need more detailed information, we go to the Detail tab. Here we can see step-by-step -step calculations, stem design, also with the references to the ACI code and with exposed formulas for a granular checking. If we go to the load combinations, the program accepts different codes. The Canadian code, CSA 823.3.19, the ASH2 LRFD 2020, the AC7 1622, and the AC705. If we select ASH2, we can see here that uh, the program includes now collision for the extreme event load combinations. This load case has been added in this new version and is using the calculations. Let's go back to the project manager. 
let's open a, a calculation for a counter fork retaining wall. As in the previous module, in the geometry tab, you enter the dimensions for the stem, for the counter forks, for the footing, and for the backfill and cover. Graphically, we can see a wall elevation with the uh, uh, pressures acting on the wall, and then the forces acting for different conditions. And in the, the reinforcement tab, a series of controls to specify the rebars for the stem, for the counter forks, for the footing, and for the shear key. Please note that the counter for wall can also be supported on piles. Just checking on this box, and will be supported on piles like that. Graphically, we can see the images for the overtending calculations for sliding, for bearing, the stem design, and for the footing design. Finally, the construction tab. Let's go back to the project manager and open now a calculation for a basement retaining wall. In the geometry tab, you enter all the dimensions for the wall. You can specify also an intermediate support, as in this case. In the footing, also this type of wall can be supported on piles. Graphically, you can see the wall elevation with the pressures acting on the wall and then the corresponding forces and the reactions for the different supports. This is for the overturning analysis, then for the stem design, then in the footing, the program checks the design ratios for the toe design and for the heel design. All these can be sorted by load combination. And finally, in the construction tab, we can see images in section and elevation for the final design uh, basement wall. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a sheet piling. The sheet pile can be either cantilever or can be uh, anchored at the top. You enter the excavation depth, the soil slope angle, if any, and the water table depth. The material stack, the soil, you can model up to four layers of soil and you specify the properties, particularly the density, the friction angle phi, and the cohesion C. The cohesion has been added in this new version in Azure Retain 6. So the program performs two types of analysis, the long term and the short term. Long term is assuming that the cohesion is zero, and short term is assuming that the phi is zero. In the load tab, we specify the soil lateral pressure theory, then we can specify surcharge here, and finally a seismic uh, load if necessary. This feature, seismic load, has been added in this new version. Graphically, we go to the graph tab. Here we can see the sheet piling with the different layers and the pressures acting on the wall. Finally, this is the loading diagram. If we click on the diagrams tab, the program generates the shear moment and deflection diagrams. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a gravity retaining wall. And this is a template for a gravity retaining wall in ASDIP Retain. This is a new module in this package. In the geometry tab, you enter all the dimensions for the wall. The stem can be concrete or can be rubble masonry. You can model an additional footing with this box. If the footing is reinforced, here you specify the rebars for the footing. If the footing is not reinforced, then all these controls are just not shown. We click on the graph, a graphical view of the wall elevation with the pressures, the stem design. The program checks the moment and the shear capacity of the stem using the ACI 318 plain concrete provisions. And graphically, the program shows the final design with all the dimensions of the wall. As you can see, as the Retain 6 includes different type of retaining walls, also, some very important features have been added, such as the collision in ash to load combinations, such as cohesion in uh, sheet piling, and the new module as gravity retaining wall. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.